Hello everyone, in this video I will be breaking down the render that you just saw at the beginning of the video and I will also show you how I created it, uh, which render settings I used and also how to create a nice environment for your render. So the first thing we need to do is thinking of where the building is going to be standing. This is a Dutch house, so it needs a Dutch environment. And I also have thought of where the camera is going to be. This is going to tell us where the render is going to be taken and also what are you going to be seen or not. So for example, everything in front of the house will be seen. For example, the roadway, the driveway and the curbs. So those are elements that you need to add in your, in your render to make it more realistic. For example, if you just put the house inside Lumion, it's going on a flat land, it's not going to look good. But if you put it in Lumion with a 3D environment that you have created in your software, 3D software, then it will look way better, as you can see. If you want to create a Dutch environment, we need to have those key elements for in the scene to make it realistic. To make the scene more realistic, I also used 3D roof tiles. These roof tiles are being made in the 3D software that I used. Also, you can see the big difference it makes between 2D only the texture and actually 3D roof tiles. I will make a separate video about this topic. So now we finished our project in the 3D software, so now we can import it in Lumion. And first we go to do is set up our camera. So we have an angle on where we want to create the render. So mine will be probably around here. And I like to set the focal length to 25 because that will have a better field of view, more realistic. And let's put it over here, for example, with a height of 180 a little bit more and then save the camera so now i have a point to go back to every time uh, i have so i have created an element or added an element into the project the second thing we are going to do is select all the materials and go through the entire project and setting up all the materials for example for this curb i'm using the concrete the concrete from polygon because it has a high res one of the highest resolutions for example 2k and it has a nice pattern for example, for the separate bricks that I want to create. Um, as you can see, the line stops right now. So uh, what I do normally is give it a little offset so it has more definition. And I see over here the line coming again. So that's where I stop. And then I have created one element. So now all the elements are almost the same size. I also give it a little edge. So the edges that are straight in the software that are now more flattened. And the weathering. The weathering will also give a lot of edge definition. The sidewalk, for example, I used uh, another concrete element because this is a lower resolution, for example 1K. But these are, this texture is the best that I could find in the Lumion library. And I have scaled the units. I scaled them uh, to actually measure exactly the amount of um, stones or tiles that are supposed to use inside the site. These small details will ad actually add up to the end project and will create a much more uh, realistic render than it's supposed to be. For the bricks, I used also the high quality polygon material from the Lumion library. Uh, for example, I used here the, the brown topaz and I also I didn't really much have to scale it, but I have to scale it so the, uh, the stones are actually lined up and look realistic from a distance. Uh, I did the same of course with the red one and I also used it too with a bump so it will create more realism inside the render. I also for the roof because we had used 3D elements from the software. I only used a concrete texture because those are, probably, those are the closest to the color that I wanted to recreate. Um, of, those are not of course concrete tiles, those are ceramic, but because this texture works the best, I also put it in a really dark color and put it to the max because I really wanted those really dark colors. So the next thing we need to do is adding some other buildings to break up all the emptiness inside our render. If you go to the photo right now, you will see that the buildings over the right and the left will perfectly break up the render and you will 
can't see the horizon anymore. So now we can add other elements, for example, foliage. We can add other plants, for example, here in the front, or the front garden. Also keep in mind that I use the fine detail. They have a high uh, resolution, look really good, close-up camera. But it could may uh, because it adds really up to your uh, 3D points, so it may can cause a lot of trouble uh, later on. But you have to figure out how strong your computer is and what it can handle. We can add trees for in the background. We can add other elements, for example, lampposts. I found these a little bit too big in the start, so I've scaled them down to 0.6 and maybe adding a car. Make sure you have the drive license, for example, in the country you are using. Maybe change the color a little bit, give the metallic look and don't show the drive. So now we have set everything up inside our project. Now we can use our, uh, now we can experiment with some effects. The first thing I like to do is add the two points perspective. So I have a straight uh, lines and then I like to add the realistic render. Of course, the sun is now shining inside our face. That's not what we want. So we will try to change another one, for example, this one, put it over here. So now we can see, of course, the lighting is not very really good, but we will change that later on. This is the part where we can experiment with all the lighting settings, but what helps for me is search for reference pictures online to see what kind of feel you get by a certain render and how you try to manipulate it into your project. For example, here I have two pictures that I used. One is from another render that gives me the view that I want to recreate. And another one is some uh, bureau picture that is made here in the Netherlands. And I try to recreate uh, the same view and also the same kind of lighting. So to recreate the scene, I used the realistic render and I've changed some settings. So we go through those. Of first, of course, the 2D perspective that I have added, and also then I use the real skies, and I changed the real skies instead of the uh, the cloudy to the overcast nine. I have rotated it, and I have set up the brightness uh, higher, so it looks better. Um, I haven't changed the sharper, and I haven't changed the exposure. I have changed the uh, color correction. For the color correction, I have added another layer with the, the default settings. So as you can see, the, it's a little bit lighter. That could be, is because I have set up the brightness is put up higher. I left the contrast to 0.50 and I have put saturation to 0.2. I have point the vibrance to 0.1 and I have set the time, the tint to minus 0.1 to give it a little bit more of a greenish feel instead of uh, the purple. And I have increased the temperature. So it is a little bit warmer and it has a little bit more color and also uh, it's lighter than the original one. Then here we have reflection. I have enabled the reflection of course. I used eight planes that are a lot actually, but I have put eight planes on almost every glass plane there is. And I've set up the margins really high because not every plane was getting the same part. And I've put one on the floor and I put one on the floor because of one reason. And that's because I want to create uh, for the, the rain I have added. So there is a better mirror on top of the ground. So the reflections are better now. Uh, Hyperlight, I have not changed it. Well, it has changed, but it's supposed to be 50. And Skylight, I have increased it to 0.2 and 0.3 for the brightness. And I have set up every reflection and I set the render quality of up on Ultra. So I have the best quality of light inside the render. 
And then the shadows, I have put it on exterior. I have put the Omni shadows on 0.3, the brightness really low, just next to the S. And I have set the coloring to 0.1. And the sun shade ratio, yeah, I haven't changed that one. So the last thing I added is a little bit of fog. And of course, my, uh, so these are the settings. And I have set, of course, the layer visibility because I want to add some light to the light poles, but also to the building. So for example, I've put here, set up some lights inside, also on uh, the top and here on the front of the building. And also in the back is also some light. So now it will look like this. It gives really more, it gives a lot more of warmth and more realism to the scene. So if we are happy with our settings, then again we can add a little bit of more rain. So I have put it on rain, facing the pens, if you want a lot of rain or just a few pools. And I have an additional fork, the setup, and everything has to be low because otherwise uh, you will see the rain dropping and that's not what we wanted. That's something I didn't want. I just want the pools of water in the scene and not in the actual rain. So now you can choose two things. Uh, you can choose to render the picture or what I like to do sometimes is if I set up everything over here, I can go to movie and then I like to create a new movie and that's from the perspective that we just were. It saves the perspective that we had. So everything is the same. And then we add another frame. We can increase the go a little bit to the front, have it recreate, and now you can see there is this little animation playing. Make sure you have your eases linear instead of so, because this will change uh, how it looks. This will keep it a steady camera. And now we, the only thing we have to do is copy all of the effects and put it over here. And now you have your scene. So you can now choose to render it. And now you have a beautiful video that you just saw at the beginning of the vid this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I also hope that you have a little bit more understanding of Lumion and how to create it, how I created the scene. Um, if you like this video, uh, leave a like and maybe consider subscribing because that helps me a lot and uh, hopefully i will see you in another video guys bye